In this video, we're going to be using Crown and Crane, Thuringian Forest, and the Matty Lindholm MLS21 Safety Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content today, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, let's get into it today, starting with the soap. And today we are using Crown and Crane, Thuringian Forest, and I bought this from the Razor Company. It was $16.95 for five ounces or $3.29 on our cost chart, which is a good price. I love the scent on this. I'll put the scent notes for you on the screen right there. You have bergamot, lemon, juniper, uh, lavender, oak, sandalwood. It's a really nice, easygoing, mellow scent. I would call it a hair below medium in scent strength, but it's really, really pleasant. I like it a lot. Just a very much a uh, crowd pleasing type of scent. Sorry about that. I can't even talk today because I'm really excited about the shave. Uh, this is a tallow based soap. I'll show you the ingredients on the screen right there. And Crown and Crane is an excellent, excellent value. The price is right. It's easy to use, easy to work with. The scents are almost all crowd pleasing. Like I am, I haven't shown them all yet because I have some unboxings that haven't aired yet, but I am 12 for 12 on Crown and Crane scents. That has never happened before ever in 10 years of doing this i've never had 10 straight soaps from an artisan that i like every single scent that is amazing uh, crown and crane just excellent excellent brand um i, I just really love it. <laughs> what more can i say about it let me show you a lather shot right there really easy to lather i got a nice creamy lather with it and man i'm just really excited about this today because that soap is really really good all right the razor I'm also excited about too because today we are using for the first time the Maddie Lindholm MLS 21 razor and this is truly an artisanal piece because Maddie Lindholm and I'll link his channel below makes this razor himself he sort of bends that top cap and he does all the work on this himself no outsourcing it is stainless steel uh, I purchased this from Marion the Barbarian here in the US I think it was like 88 US dollars or something like that excellent price and that handle would typically be too long for me but because he's got some of the handle sort of he's got ridges in it it doesn't feel as cumbersome as a long handle does oftentimes for me and i think that's the key for me it's not always the length if it's if a handle is really thick without taking some of that metal out i tend not to like it but i do like this one and as you can see there it's really well done and i'll go ahead and unscrew it and show you the blade sitting in there today, which I was recommended to use uh, feather blades by some folks. And there is the feather blade in there. And we'll put the base plate back on and it is open comb, as you can see. And man, I'm looking forward to using this because uh, Matty really is one of the great guys in the hobby, just always helpful. And he can do about anything. He makes soaps, he makes brushes, and now safety razors. So he hones, uh, Straight razors, what can't he do? Nothing, I don't think he can do it all. All right, we have blabbed long enough. Let's get into the shave, starting with our mister. And this is just used to put water on the face rather than splashing water all over the place in the sink. And it works really, really well. And man, I'm gonna tell you what, this lather today is great. And our brush today is great too. This is another super, super nice guy. Brendan from, if I can find his logo there on the bottom and show it up, um, the proper orientation. Brendan from Maritime Shave Company, excellent guy, and he really is a nice guy too. So if you're looking for brushes, go check him out. And that, folks, is creamy goodness of the crown and crane. Really easy to lather. Uh, the consistency was nice. It's soft, but not too soft. So you know me, I like that. And just really easy to lather. And such a, this is such a pleasant uh, scent. I just love it. I can't say enough good things about crown and crane. Um, and I think their partnership with the razor company has really kicked them into the next level. And I am so happy that Elizabeth there at Crown and Crane decided to allow a razor, excuse me, the razor company to stock their soaps. And uh, I actually reached out to Jason and said, Hey, have you tried this Crown and Crane? He was like, no. And he got some and uh, the rest is history. Crown and Crane is now on another level. It's really good. 
And as you can see there, that lather is fantastic. And so you don't have to spend five, six, seven dollars an ounce to get a quality soap with a quality scent, folks. And Crown of Crane is a good example of that. Shans is sterling, and there's many others as well. If you want to, that's okay. But you certainly don't have to. Uh, I'm not going to give you trouble if you just want to spend that kind of money. That is entirely okay. Enjoy your shaves the way you sit, but you don't have to. You don't have to. All right. That is just, I could do that all day because the scent is just, oh man, it's beautiful. I love it. Another winner from Crown and Crane. I tell you what, they have really made an impression on me in 2021. Crown and Crane doing it very, very nicely. All right. Let's get the rest of that cut back and let's take our first few strokes with our Maddie Lindholm razor right here. And let's just see how that feels. That's nice. I'm getting some blade there. I was told it was mild, but I'm getting some blade there. So I'm liking that. That's nice and smooth. I like those first few strokes, Maddie. <laughs> Maddie said he was kind of nervous for me to try this razor. And like I said, you get some blade, but not a tremendous amount. But what I'm feeling there is nice and smooth. Oh yeah, I like that. And the open comb on this are not sharp. The open comb, I should say. These are not uh, super sharp. They're kind of rounded, which I like. That's always a great design to round those open combs so they're not, they don't feel sharp to the touch. So far, Maddie, I'm enjoying it. Very nice indeed. Not bad at all for the first run. Very nice. And I, I feel very fortunate to have one of these because I don't know that he's made a ton of them. I don't know how many he's made. So, Maddie, let me know. How many of these have you uh, made and put out there? Comment below, please, sir. Very nice. It's nice to have something that, you know, one of us made, you know. Now, don't get me wrong. There are artisans that started out the way we did as enthusiasts and, and uh, razor makers who started that way. And then they made their own stuff. But... Maddie is, is still very much one of us, and he, he just makes these uh, items as a hobby, and, and that's feeling great. I gotta say, you've done an excellent job, Maddie. And it really is a pleasure to uh, be using this razor. Sometimes something like this, it just means a, it means a lot to me because Maddie has meant a lot to me personally, has offered me a lot of advice with straight razor shaving in 2020 and 2021, and. Uh, just it's really a pleasure and honor to use this razor today couldn't come from a nicer guy and the price was quite reasonable you know less than a hundred bucks from for a stainless steel razor that's you know made mostly by hand that is a really good deal so the first pass very nice i enjoyed that a lot and the soap is just fantastic perfectly slick the scent awesome uh this is just one of those days where Everything is clicking the way it should be. <laughs> and that's that's the way it goes most days. And that's the way it should be going for you as well. If it's not going well for you and your your shaves are resulting in a bloody mess every single day, you gotta change some things up. You know, don't be afraid to adjust the way you do things to find the result that works best for you. So I took to bowl lathering. I used to be a face lather. But what I realized was when I started bowl lathering, my face responded much better to not putting that wear and tear on my face from the brush. You know, doing a lot of scrubbing. So now you see me mostly applying the lather and painting. And people will say, well, you're not exfoliating. You're not exfoliating that much with the brush anyway, folks, to be honest. Not that much because that sharp steel is going to do all that. <laughs> you know, it's going to exfoliate, believe me. But I'll take a shower before and do that, scrub my face and do that exfoliation in there. And I found that just being easy on my face with the brush and painting was the way to go. I got much better results in doing so. But if you're a scrubber and you scrub your face and you feel strongly that works for you, then you do that. You know, I'm not saying not to do it at all. I'm just saying if something is not right and you're getting tons of weepers and irritation and things aren't just working, change it up. You might have to be unconventional, you know, because conventional wisdom is you scrub your face. But I found that that was counterproductive for me and my skin. And your skin is going to be obviously unique to you. So you've got to find what works. And so you don't have to do things like I do or like anybody else does. Just um, 
find what works. If it's two passes, go with it. If it's three passes, go with it. You know, just do what works. Oh man, that's nice. Really, really pleasant experience using this Maddie Lindholm MLS 21. I presume the 21 means the year 2021 is when he made it. I think that's what that means, or at least I'm guessing Maddie. Let me know below if I'm wrong on that. Very nice. A little bit of feedback there. I tell you what, really nice. And I'm sure everybody who knows Maddie, you know, uh, would love to have one of these razors. And I'm very, very fortunate that Marion reached out to me and said, hey, I got a couple of Maddie razors coming. Would you like to buy one? And I was like, oh yeah, I got to have one. <laughs> and this is a razor that um, this will not be leaving. <laughs> leaving me. It's just one of those things that because of my uh, relationship with Maddie, it's a, it's a razor that I'll always keep and treasure. So thank you, Maddie, for making these available. We really appreciate that. And thank you for sending a few to Marion because Marion usually um, distributes Maddie Lynn Holmes soaps and so forth in North America. So Maddie, if you make more, send some more to Marion and I'm sure he will, um, he can get those distributed for you. Even though he's very much in the fragrance hobby now, not doing a lot of shaving, he'll, he'll still distribute those for you. He still likes to make merry. <laughs> make people merry, that is. Oh man, that feels great. Great job, Maddie. What an honor it is, really. And I know I've said a lot of that today and people are like, oh, how many times do you have to say that? I don't know. I just say what comes to mind and what I'm feeling. You know, this is not a scripted review. I don't really do reviews. I just use products and give you my organic thoughts as I'm using them. And so if you're looking for a reviewer, that's not me. I don't do structured reviews. I will highlight products from time to time. And I'm looking to give you information, but I'm just using it and giving you my thoughts as I use them. And the only thing that's scripted is where I give you the uh, the notes of the soap, the price and, and all that. That's all. Oh, I want to mention, by the way, uh, this Friday night on Real Talk, I'll put up a photo for you right there. Pete from HCNC will be joining us. Remember, we had to cancel. Pete had to cancel before because he was in the hospital. Well, now he's back and feeling well. And so we're going to have him on Friday night at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time. So come and join us there and we'll talk to Pete. And you can learn some about Pete from Hendrix Classics and Company. And I'm really looking forward to that because I have loved uh, Pete's products. And I've really enjoyed using them. And I was skeptical at first about that scent your own thing, as you know. And I tell you what, there's nothing better than when someone makes a believer out of you just through the products. You're like, I don't know about that. And then you use it and you're like, wow, that's really good. You know? So nothing make, makes me happier than have my mind changed, you know. And I try to leave, you know, I try to, to do things with an open mind and be open to change and doing things differently. And it really paid off. Uh, with Pete, because years ago, I wouldn't have even considered it. I was, I'm not doing that. That's wonky. Sent your own. Now that, <laughs> you know, I tried it. Um, and I have a much more open mind about doing different things and trying different things. I think, wow, what a benefit that is, you know. So please try to keep an open mind about things. Try them and see what you think. And the other thing that I try to do as well is I try not to form too many preconceived notions about a product before I actually use it. So I'll buy something, I'll glance at the notes or whatever, say of a shaving soap, and then I won't look at it again until I use it. And uh, I don't look at other reviews typically until I use it either, because I want to have my own opinion without any preconceived notion. We'll read lather here for a quick cross pass. Because I want whatever that I am uh, conveying to you to be my thoughts and my feelings and not something I picked up from someone else. Uh, that's why I do it the way I do it. And I'm not saying that's the best way to do it because I do like structured reviews, but for me, it's all about just using it. And I'll tell you as I'm using it, and I tell you today, this gear, everything from the brush to the soap, the soap is just smelling great. I couldn't be having more fun. <laughs> this is my favorite thing to do, you know, just come in here and enjoy a good shave. And I know people are like, he's crazy, you know, shaving, you know, what? Or if you're not in the hobby, you know, it is fun. Just to, the 
the way the scents of the soaps make you feel and the way you feel when you're holding a nice piece of hardware and a nice brush. Um, I don't know. It just, it really does something for me. I mean, I just, like I said yesterday, my passion and enjoyment for the, for this has never been higher than it is right now. And it's also because, you know, there's so many other things that aren't ple pleasant going on in my life that this is such a bright spot, you know. So when I get a chance to do it, it like, it takes my mind off all the other things. And that to me, the value of that is just incredible. So when you're doing your shave, just try to get lost in the shave, you know. Just enjoy that scent. Enjoy sharing it with people if you do. Or enjoy your alone time if that's just your alone time. But I tell you what, today was just fantastic. I really, <laughs> I really enjoyed it. All right, let me rinse and we'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. And then we applied our PAA alum. There was no stinging there, so super smooth shave. No necks, guts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Excellent shave. I gotta say, today was just so much fun. I really, really had an awesome time using the Maddie Lindholm MLS 21 razor, a razor that Maddie made mostly by hand. It's an honor and a privilege to, to have this razor. It will always remain here. And Maddie, I hope you send more to Marion so he can distribute more of these here in the United States and North America. And I'm sure those of you in the UK, I know some people have already gotten them like Paul um, and others and man, this razor is really fantastic. I loved it with the feather blade. Um, really awesome job, Maddie. Congrats, you have done a great job once again. What can't Maddie do? There's nothing that guy can't do. He's really amazing. The soap today was also amazing. This is Crown and Crane Thuringian Forest, and I absolutely loved it. It has a very pleasant scent. It's another winner from Crown and Crane, folks. Don't sleep on Crown and Crane. It's good stuff. It's well priced and. It hit the spot once again. Awesome. I loved it. We used our Maritime Brush Co. brush. Well, I was picking it up, but I'll pick it up in the mug. Maritime Brush Co. brush. Another awesome guy, Brendan, over there is just fantastic. And it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And Andre is fantastic, too. Everybody's fantastic. It's a great, it's a great time. HCNC bowl. And don't forget, we'll be on, uh, Pete from HCNC will be on Real Talk Friday night. Uh, and that should be a lot of fun. And we're going to finish it off today. We're going to sort of stay in Germany where the soap was inspired from, I think. Could be wrong on that. So e, if I'm wrong, let me know. <laughs> this is Spike uh, Active and it's a kind of a nice, uh, I think the original is like a, a plant. I think Spike is a plant, but it comes off a little um, herbal and maybe a little woodsy, but it's really nice. And Active is more like a cologne and it's whoo, fantastic. I love it. Oh man, oh man, I tell you what, there's no better place to be than right here today because <laughs> it was just so much fun. And thank you people for joining me today. I really appreciate you. Remember today, go out, say something nice to someone, shoot a smile. You see someone um, commenting or dragging someone on social media, lift them up. Try to lift them up and say something nice because if they can't be lifted up, they got to go. We lift them right out of here, but we want them to say if we can convert them to uh, loving it, then let's do it. But otherwise, boom. We, we get them up and out. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.